Hello, what is up guys? Say hello from the new crib. Uh, we just moved in a couple of days ago. So I'm um, still so trying to settle down and there are a lot of like, boxes lying around. And I'm in my new room right now. I can't wait to show you guys the room tour. Uh, eventually the house tour as well and you know the desk setup. Just you know super excited because you know the experience of having your own home it's just incredible. Uh, I can't describe it because you know you just get your own personal space and everything. So uh, if you're interested in all those uh, house tour, you know, renovation stuff, then it's gonna be upcoming on the channel. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. But for today, we're gonna talk about my new Canon R5 camera. So I've been a Sony user for the past, you know, almost I would say like five to six years, uh, ever since the launch of the A7S series. Uh, in my company, we had the A7S IIs, and then between Winnie and I, we had the A7 III, which is the camera right here. And even everything up to this point on the YouTube channel was shot with this uh, Sony A7 III. And I know some of us probably experienced the same cycle of things because we all started out with the Canon cameras because it was so affordable in terms of entry DSLRs. And at some point we wanted to upgrade and then we only had the 5D Mark II and eventually the 5D Mark III series. And in terms of video quality, Canon wasn't really upping the game. Then Sony came along and then blew everyone else away with their video capabilities because of, you know, the 4K, the slow more. So yeah, you know, I think eventually a lot of us did switch over to the, you know, Sony ecosystem. But after using Sony for a couple of years and then recently experiencing the R5, we eventually decided to, you know, sell off the entire Sony ecosystem and then go back to the Canon ecosystem because the, the image quality, the colors, uh, you know, the video quality, the 4K, 8K on the, you know, Canon R5 is just phenomenal. And obviously this comes with the caveat of, you know, potential overheating. This is a popular topic with the Canon R5. But both Vinny and I, we understand that, you know, we're not going to be shooting 8K raw all the time. We're not going to be doing the 4K now sample. We're going to just be shooting regular 4K. So this is something that we were uh, really okay with. So I won't go into a lot of these technical specifications on the Canon R5 because it's not a new camera per se. Uh, there are a lot of like information dedicated uh, uh, to this you know, overheating, uh, a lot about review of this R5. So going to that, you can search them online. But for now, let's go get the camera. So I reserved the camera online and we went out to PS to get the camera. It was at a shop called Bailey Photo and Alan there was an incredibly awesome dude who kind of threw in some freebies for me and you know even followed up with warranty offer. Overall, it was a really good experience and I definitely recommend Alan if you're interested in camera stuff. The Canon R5 comes in a rather flimsy box in terms of materials. Opening the box, I see just a quick number of things. Canon still uses the LPE6 batteries, but an improved version, the NH subtype. It also comes with a standard charger, which is nice because my previous Sony A7 III doesn't come with a separate charger. Instructions and warranty cards, the standard camera strap with the iconic red line, and finally, the absolute beauty of camera, the Canon R5. To kind of do it a little different, this time I decided to call a few friends out to do a shoot. So the time now, it's 5.30am, I just woke up, gonna get some breakfast and then we'll head out to MVS to meet my friends, Hanya Isaac. We're gonna do a quick shoot. It's been a while since I've done, you know, this kind of like Instagram shoot sort of thing, so see you guys there. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm currently at MBS. So this is kind of like the go-to spot for, you know, Instagram shoots and stuff. Today I got Hanya to bring her skateboard as well. It's a very nice place to cruise. Um, the only thing is that it started drizzling a little bit. So hopefully the skies clear up and then, you know, we get some good shots for today. So let's go. 